Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh, and here in this video, we are going to talk about what are custom notifications in Salesforce. So before we go ahead and talk about what custom notifications are, there is an announcement for you. We are going to upload our first episode on our new channel, which is in Hindi. So you you can just go ahead, get the link in the description and subscribe that channel as well. And that episode is going to be a really good informative and there are some tips and tricks which has been shared by our guest now let's quickly talk about what custom notifications are so basically custom notifications are as its name indicates these are the custom notification which are developed by either a developer or a admin okay and once these custom notifications are set up then we can fire either from using a flow or a custom code or even using from process builder as well now here this custom notification is not some something which we have to develop using custom code or something it is very simple we have to just go to the setup and then just go ahead and create those custom notifications custom notifications basically we need to send whenever something important events occur important events occur like we wanted to notify the submitter who has submitted the record for approval then we can sort of notify either the record has been approved or rejected we can send the email as well we can send the custom notification and custom notification is really very powerful instead of sending the email we can also send the notification to the case owner whenever any new email is coming for an existing case let's say that there is a case which a customer has raised from email to case then you replied something you asked for the information to the customer now what you can is whenever the customer is sending back the email or replying to the particular case we can send the notification to the owner saying that this is or we say that the response for this particular case has been uh, given by the customer and then you can just go ahead look into this and start working on this this is uh, these are the two simple uh, example of our notification there will be multiple examples where you might use custom notification now here what we are going to do is we are going to create a custom notification then we are going to notify the account team members for a particular opportunity so we have one opportunity when that opportunity is closed that means it stays it changed to closed one we are going to notify to all the account team members saying that this particular opportunity has been closed okay now here you see on the right hand side this is basically nothing this is the ui from the flow builder which we will be using so the very first thing it says that custom notification type id so this is something which we are going to give the id of our custom notification which we will be developing the notification body basically what we wanted to put under the body saying that opportunity name has been closed that could be our body what is the title we can give the title say that opportunity name is closed or we can say that time to celebrate something <laughs> something which is uh, like uh, relevant to the body whatever we are putting then recipient ids this is something which contains the list of ids okay now what are the valid values the valid values are the user ids we can have multiple user ids then account id when we provide the account id what it does it takes the it, it takes all the account team members and then send the notification to those so we don't need to worry about like querying the account team members and then sending the notification we just need to provide the account id and it will send the notification to the all team members then we have got opportunity id opportunity id is again it is going to take the opportunity id find all the opportunity team members and then send the notification then there is another option which is called group id so it is going to find all the group members send the notification then there is something called queue id so it is going to find all the queue members and send the notification so these are the five different options that you can put as an recipient ids then you've got the sender id basically who is sending the notification so we can say either admin user or we can set some ids target id for which particular object or which particular record we are sending the notification so for example we are under opportunity so we can put opportunity id as a target id 
then we have got target page reference whenever the user clicks on the notification where they will be navigated so again we can put the some custom link or we can put some record id where we want it to navigate to the user so this is basically the simple like what we are going to do in a flow how we are going to use that custom notification okay now which kind of flow we are going to use over here is so again this custom notification is nothing it is an action so as soon as there is an action we will always use after record shape trigger flow so now quickly navigate to salesforce org here first thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead create a custom notification so to create the custom notification from the quick search box search for custom notification under notification builder you will find custom notification if your org already have some custom notification you will see them listed over here my org doesn't have i'll go ahead and click on new and we'll say opportunity closed okay and then it says that supported channel where you wanted to send the notification either in desktop or mobile so we'll select both we want to send the notification at both the supported channels go ahead and save this so this is pretty simple in order to create the custom notification in your org nothing fancy nothing rocket science just simple go ahead and click this uh, to here and there clicks and notification builder is ready now where this notification will be appeared so if you see here on the top and uh, top right side your logo and then you will get the notifications so here in this bell icon your notification will be listed now you have got the notification next thing what you need to do is you just need to find flows okay and just we need to create the flow before we go ahead and create the flow there is one prerequisite you must need to enable the account teams because we need to send the notification to the account teams so there is a separate video for account teams that we have created so if you don't know what account teams is you will again get the uh, link in the description for the account teams pause the video watch what account teams are and then continue for this particular video once you are here under this account uh, like flows just go ahead and click on new flow select record triggered flow we already know this is a record triggered flow and the object and conditions which we are going to talk here is we will talk about it is an opportunity when a record is created or object updated in both the cases okay conditions click on and and here what you need to select stage name equals closed one okay so because we want to send the notification whenever the stage is closed next thing what we need to do is when to run the flow for update records whenever the records are updated so we will select only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirements not every time we just need to say if update record is updated whenever it says that stage name is closed then only go ahead and throw the notification or send the notification to the all account team members select action and related records click on done your start element is ready now go ahead and click on plus and select the action okay now here if you select the action what you have to type is you need to type send custom notification okay this is the flow core action that we have got send custom notification now here if you see what are all the el like elements we discussed here all are here now one thing that you've got custom notification type id here you need to give the id of your custom notification that you have developed now how you will get that id so for that first you have to query the record so instead of actions we will select get records and we can say that get custom notification so get custom notification type is the label okay and the object is also the same thing like custom notification type this is the object select that now what you want here is we will say that developer name equals now we, what developer name is we have got opportunity closed you can also use some custom lab, labels to store these values and use that label there but i'm going to directly use this opportunity closed and i will select only the first record click on done now i have got this particular custom notification okay next thing what i will do is i will check if i have found that custom notification if the custom notification is there then only i will send the notification so click on plus add a decision element so i have uh, given a label as check if custom notification or notification is found 
for the outcome where we will check if the notification is found or not i will select notification is found what condition i will use i have got this record single variable i'll say notification i can say id okay and we will say is null false if this particular condition meets that means id is there the record is there go ahead and click on done if notification is not found we are going to end the flow not going to do anything if notification is found then we are going to click on plus click on action and then we will say send custom notification now here what again you can see here send custom notification for opportunity close this is the label and this is the api name now here what is the id you can just go ahead find your single record which you have just did a query and then use record id now what notification body is you can say here record which is our opportunity and the name and you can say is closed this is what our notification is okay the body is same title is same now what is recipient ids now here we need to figure out what we need to send so our requirement says we need to send the notification to all the users who are part of account team members so what we will send here is we will send record dot account id okay this is what we have to put now if you see it, it says that the data type of the resource you entered is n isn't compatible why it is the reason because this recipient ids expect a list of record ids list of record ids means list of account id list of user id list of opportunity id group or queue id it must be a list it must be a collection so to do that what we will do is we will go ahead click on new resource and we will create variable and we will say where account ids okay type is going to be text it is going to allow multiple values and click on done so as soon as you select like you use that variable it is there now we have to add the account id in this variable that we will do uh, once we are done with this screen now sender id let's quickly select who is the record owner okay so we'll say that owner id target id let's quickly put record dot id okay and target page reference we can also say that record dot id so this is what we have to provide as a part of our custom notification and click on done okay before we go ahead let's quickly save it so i have given the label as send custom notification opportunity is closed i'll do the save so that we can save our progress even if we click on refresh or something once our progress is saved now what we have to do is we have to add account id in the variable because once we have added then only it will send the notification so to do that click on this plus icon where you will click before the action so just click on this plus icon and assignment and you say here add account id to the list okay once we have got this what we have to do is we have to select our collection variable now here in the operator we wanted to add so we will say add and what value we wanted to add here is record dot account id this is what we wanted to add click on done now our flow is ready right there is nothing now we need to do if you want to like add some fault path say that you wanted to add a fault path over here you can do that if you wanted to add a fault path over here you can do that okay so now our flow is ready the next thing is to debug this okay in order to debug this first thing we need an opportunity the opportunity whose account having some account team members okay so we will get back here this is our account i have opened this i'm going to add account team over okay so if you have enabled the account teams you will get under related if you see here scroll down you will find that account team here under related section i have added that over here in the separate section so can add so i will click on drop down add default teams okay i don't have any default teams i will add team members so i will add a couple of users over here like admin user flow admin one as well as integration user team role i will give any team role which i actually want to and then access i'm going to give whatever it is i it will remain same and i'm going to save it now this is our account okay it has three account team members now we are going to open any opportunity 
So let's quickly go ahead and open this. Which opportunity is already closed one? So let's select Grand Hotels, which is closed one. Okay, this opportunity is under closed one stage. You can see over here. Now let's get back to our flow. Click on debug, and I'm going to uh, test for create. So just go ahead, select this opportunity. This is generate installation, which we have opened. Click on run. Okay. Now it is going to show us the yellow bold line. It is going to show us how our flow is running. So if you see here, record triggered flow runs, notification found, assignment does. Then this particular particular section which says that send custom notification, it is showing the error. Now if you see on the uh, if you see on the right hand side, okay, what it says that invalid parameter value for target page reference. This is invalid, right? We have provided the account ID. So basically, what we will do is we'll edit this element. We will not include target page reference. We don't want that is not needed. We'll just go ahead, click on save our flow, and then we will do the debug again. And this time, just go ahead and run it. So this time you see here our flow is working properly, whatever it is needed. Now we need to test it for update as well. So just go ahead do the debug again this time we will select updated okay and what we will select we will select a different opportunity let's select renewal one which we have created in the previous video now we need to find out where stage is it says needs analysis we will change it to closed one okay and run it so now we have changed it and it is working fine so that means our flow is working fine because this is a record triggered flow Record trigger flow runs in rollback mode, so we will we won't be able to see the notification. We will go ahead and activate this. Our flow is activated. Okay. Now what we will do is we'll get back to our opportunity. Let's quickly make this as negotiation and review first. The flow will not do anything because there is a condition. Now we will do the closed, select close stage, and we will select close one. Okay. And click on save so as soon as i do click on save the flow will run it is it will find all the users and it will send the notification if you see here there is one notification to said number one okay it says that whatever grand hotel generator installation is closed this is a notification a few seconds ago and you see this is a custom notification now if i go somewhere else in the accounts okay i'm here under accounts i click here and then if I click on this particular uh, like uh, notification, it will take me to the opportunity because of the value on the target ID. Okay, so that is how your custom notification works for update. And now let's quickly clone this opportunity. Now I'm just cloning it. Value is going to be closed one because that's what we need to test for uh, create. So if you just do the closed one again, you see here there is a notification which is coming here. So if I see that this is said uh, renewal is closed. So that's how actually the custom notification works in Salesforce. So this is it for this video. Thank you for your time. Again, before you go ahead, please do like and subscribe the channel. Also, like and subscribe our uh, new channel. Again, if you have any scenarios, feel, uh, please feel free to send us to the email which is given in the description of the video. Thank you.